Hi, this is Jesse, the community manager here at Bold Grid, and I'm here today to answer a question from Travis. Uh, Travis wants to know when I'm on mobile, my primary menu uh, collapses into a hamburger menu. That's great, except for that it's placed on a line below the title. Um, how do I move the hamburger next to the site title on the same row? Uh, so great question, Travis. Um, so Bullgrid's theme framework is based on um, something called Bootstrap. And what Bootstrap does is it creates a grid um, that is 12 columns wide. And so what, if you check out this menu here, I'm going to go into the inspect mode in Chrome. And so we can see as we hover over the different elements in the code, um, that'll highlight them up on the screen. So we have this row up here, which is our header row. And each one of the elements here is in a column. Um, these columns are right now on a medium sized screen column MD6. That means both of these columns are six units wide on a medium screen. And so what we need to do is we need to make them so that they're six columns wide on a small screen as well. So if you switch over to uh, responsive mode and you come down here and collapse it till it turns into the hamburger, you can see that that's what he's talking about right there. This one is below the company name. So what we need to do is we're gonna need to use JavaScript to actually modify these elements. So the info we need is this unique class, header six and header seven for each one of those elements. And we also need to realize that the row it also uses those uh, unique classes. So with that information, we can head over to our customizer. I'm gonna go ahead and customize the site. And I'm gonna to go to advanced custom JavaScript and CSS. And then if you notice way down here at the bottom, there are uh, controls for um, what size screen you're viewing on. So I'm just gonna switch over to the mobile view and you can see now that we have that hamburger below the company name. So when you're writing with uh, JavaScript and, and the jQuery library specifically, um, you use selectors. So I'm gonna say jQuery and I'm gonna say header dash six, which was our first class for the title. Uh, make sure to include this dot at the beginning to indicate it's a class. And then I have to specify that I'm not talking about the row of header six, but only the div. So I say not row. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add a class to that element. And it is going to be um, column extra small six. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for header seven. And we'll add that column extra small six. And now you can see it's up on the same line. So that is how you're gonna to have to do it. Um, depending on which theme you use, these numbers, header six and header seven, are gonna change. Um, so I did this example in the Swifty theme. Um, but if you go ahead and use your browser inspector and figure out which two elements you need to select, you can use that same code as long as you remember to swap out header six and header seven for the ones that apply to your theme. Um, so I hope that answers your question, Travis. And I hope you have a great day. Please let us know if you have any more questions. Um, if you need help with your specific theme, just let us know which theme you're using and we'll be happy to help. Have a great day.